This is a 1989 Panasonic Iezaphone fax machine. And this is a proper old school fax machine. Not one of those weeny modern ones that are really just a glorified inkjet or laser printer. This is not a plain paper fax machine. Instead it uses these old rolls of thermal paper that curl up and turn yellow and fade. And it comes out one big long continuous sheet that you have to tear off when you're done. So while the few people who are still using fax machines today, mostly real estate agents and lawyers offices, are thrilled to have the modern versions that print out the pages just like a normal printer, I was actually very excited to find this at the thrift store recently, especially considering that it's in working condition. When I plug it in, it says, check OGM BAT. OGM means the outgoing message on the built-in answering machine, which uses a microcassette. But the outgoing message, which is what people hear when they call you, and this thing picks up, is actually recorded on a chip inside. So if this thing loses power and there's no battery backup to save it, it'll lose your outgoing message. As for those batteries, Yes, I know. They're in here. And I did have to clean out a bunch of old batteries. And because it would be appropriate, since this is a Panasonic, I put in new Panasonic batteries. So if you have one of these, make sure you check these batteries. Because you may find a surprise if they've been in here long enough. And it came with the paper. I was actually quite surprised that the paper it came with was still good. Although it was all curled up around this roller here. Because you can see how it comes out curled. And it may tend to get wrapped around this roller instead of coming out the back. There you can see the instructions for loading the paper. Definitely not as simple as putting paper in a modern printer, that's for sure. They say to use the original Panasonic paper, otherwise print quality may be reduced an excessive thermal head wear may occur. But as far as I know, this may still be the original roll of paper that this thing came with when it was new. So you pull it out so it's sticking out the back, and then you push down the cover on top of it firmly, and then you can tear off the end there. And let me try to record that outgoing message. It says to push the rec and OGM button simultaneously until a beep is heard. Hello, you've reached this 1989 Panasonic fax machine. Please leave a message after the beep. Hello, you've reached this 1989 Panasonic fax machine. Please leave a message after the beep. Credit Company. Uh, could someone please return my call at 691-0334? Thank you very much. Those are some of the messages that were on this original tape when I got it. Battery low? What are you talking about? I just put in new batteries. This thing may have some quirks about it, but overall it seems to be working okay. This is a fully functional telephone answering machine fax machine. And one thing I could do even before I hook this up to a phone line and actually use it to send and receive faxes is I can make a copy. Because this also functions as a very low quality copying machine. So I have this document here I printed out on a laser printer, so it's very good quality, very crisp and clean text you can see. The gray scales are perfect. So let's try to make a copy of it on this. I believe it goes face down into this slot here. 
until you hear a beep and then you hit start slash copy. Now you get a choice of standard resolution, fine resolution, or half tone, which is for doing grayscale. You can also do normal or darker, but this is pretty dark text, so I shouldn't need to darken it. So I'll leave it on standard and I'll do a copy here. There it goes. And you can see the copy coming out in the back. It's already yellowed. And what I think is really cool, this uh, thermal paper prints in blue. It's almost like a mimeograph. So there we can see our copy, and there you can see the quality of the text. It almost looks like a dot matrix printer due to the low resolution. And of course that grayscale was totally lost. But this is what you get when you use one of these thermal paper fax machines. It's already turning yellow, it's already curling up, and you had to tear it off at the end because it doesn't cut the sheets. And it's just, I can't get across the texture on video, of course, but it has this different texture than normal paper. Because it has that thermal coating that this thing actually burns to uh, make the uh, text come out dark. And it turns out they actually sold thermal paper in different colors instead of just white or what really comes out is slightly yellow. But I did not know they had thermal paper that prints in blue. Because when my parents had a fax machine similar to this many years ago, it's paper printed out in black, not blue. So there's your thermal copy compared to the original. Another thing I can't get across on video is the smell of this kind of thermal fax paper. It has a very distinctive chemical smell to it. Now, as for testing how this thing actually sends and receives faxes, I found an old forum post from 2012 about the HP Faxback service, which, if this is still active, what it will do is you call it and send it a one-page fax, and then it will call you back on the same number and fax to you a reply to test if your fax machine is working. But that's from 2012. I have no idea if it's still in service. I guess we'll find out. So I put in my paper. And I'm going to call the number now. I think that's a fax machine. I don't know. Try sending the paper to it says sending page one. Oh, there it goes. Is it gonna work? Well, there it goes. You can see how much it slows down. Isn't this exciting watching a fax being sent at 9600 bits per second? Means it's almost done. It's going to finish any second now. It's not letting me pull out the paper, it's still grabbing onto it. There it goes. 
and it said one page sent okay I guess I should turn on auto answer because it's supposed to call me back and send me a fax I found it on HP's website they still have it officially listed and it said they'll send you the return fax within five minutes so it's not going to be instant just rang I heard it and now it's receiving I don't know if you can actually read it but it says receiving page one I had it on the manual fax setting that's why I picked up right away if I had it on auto it would wait a couple rings so that if it's a normal phone call it would give me a chance to pick it up there it's starting to come out Isn't that magic? The document being sent over a phone line on a fax machine from 1989. It's still saying receiving there it goes and that's it so thank you Hewlett Packard even though I'm not using one of your products here for having this fax back system test so isn't that neat you can send a paper document over a phone line and then receive another paper document through the same phone line one more thing I'm gonna do is call this and leave a message on its answering machine so I set it to auto I still have the auto answer turned on and this should pick up and record the message. Hello, you've reached this 1989 Panasonic fax machine. Please leave a message after the beep. Okay, I don't know why it picked up after only half a ring. That's probably one of the options in the setup menu I need to go through and change. But I'm leaving a message on my 1989 Panasonic fax machine answering machine on its built-in micro cassette recorder. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, I don't know why it picked up after only half a ring. That's probably one of the options in the setup menu I need to go through and change. But I'm leaving a message on my 1989 Panasonic fax machine, answering machine, on its built-in micro cassette recorder. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, it sounded a little bit slow, but you have to remember it's using its original belts from 1989. So that little micro cassette recorder could probably use a servicing and probably also a new tape because this was almost definitely the original tape it came with when it was new. And yes, I know it was copying an article from The Onion in my introduction to this video, but I do think it's pretty remarkable that with a fax machine, you can stick in a piece of paper call someone halfway across the world and on their end their fax machine will print out that same document on another piece of paper. That's something you can't do with a smartphone.